Oke. Okay. Good evening everyone. Good evening. Selamat malam, maaf. Karena pertama-pertama ada kendala teknis. Jadi agak lama waktunya. So, this is our first meeting. Terima kasih atas partisipasinya. Uh, sebelumnya, perkenalkan nama saya Dani. Di sini saya bertanggung jawab untuk menjadi tutor dalam mata kuliah English Morphosyntax. Jadi saya akan belajar bersama-sama dengan Mbak dan Mas selama satu semester ke depan. Kita akan bersama-sama mempelajari tentang English Morphosyntax. Uh, sebelumnya di sini ketua kelasnya Mas Tri ya. Iya, Miss. Muridnya eh uh, muridnya di semester ini ada berapa? Ada 9 kalau salah. Oke. Okay. Untuk perkuliahan online dalam kelas ini saya akan mendorong setiap mahasiswa untuk aktif. Jadi, karena saya tugasnya tutor, jadi tutor itu menemani belajar, maka kalau ada pertanyaan-pertanyaan, saya akan membantu menjawab. Tapi kita juga akan mereview. Jadi, saya harapkan sebelum kelas, Mas dan Mbak ada waktu menyediakan waktu untuk membaca materi-materi. ya. Sebelumnya, semua sudah dapat akses buku, belum, Mei. Saya belum dapat. Oh, ini dengan Mbak siapa ya? Yusnita. Oh, Mbak Yusnita. Ya. Kalau yang lain sudah dapat buku? Ya, Miss. Oke. Okay. Uh, karena ini masih kelas pertama, so... I want to know all of you one by one, because this is our first meeting and I've never been in this semester. Last semester, I've been joined with this class but from the previous year students so I never have chance to meet you could you introduce yourself first jadi kita pertama kenalan dulu ya uh, okay. please ada Mbak Rini ada Mas Tri dan Mbak Yusnita please tell your name where are you from where are you from from Indonesia I mean Which, which city are you from and which part of Taiwan you are living now and also what impressed you the most during your student life saya sangat terkesan sekali dengan Mbak dan Mas di sini karena bekerja tapi juga setiap malam menyediakan waktu untuk belajar so what impressed you the most during your student life in Taiwan and also the last one what is your future plan after graduated from Universitas Terbuka Silahkan, coba dulu. Ketua kelasnya dulu. Oke, okay, my name is Tri. Mm-hmm. I'm from Indonesia. Yeah, of course. I live I in Tan Sui. Ah, I'm Tan Sui. So, next question, what impressed you the most during your student life? Huh? What impressed you the most during your student life? Apa tuh, Miss? Apa yang paling membuat Anda berkesan selama kuliah di UT? Uh, I like I like language. Ah, oh, you like language. You learn language. So, how do you learn language? So far. Read. Like Read. Book. Yeah. Do you like And reading book. book? Yes, but a little. No, no many times. Ah, uh, not many times. Do you like listening music, Mas? Yeah. Like, like. <laughs> And why? Why did you choose this program? Why did you uh, choose? Because, uh, sebenarnya saya lebih suka ke yang SPD, Miss. Soalnya saya ingin setelah lulus nanti bisa mengajar. Ah, you wanna be a teacher. But, uh, yes, but in Taiwan, no SPD. Yeah, it's hard for us to teach in Taiwan, but maybe after you back to Indonesia, you can be a teacher. Which part of Indonesia you are from? 
Hmm. Kalau Miss ulangi Miss. Which part of Indonesia you are from? Java. Hmm? Java. Java? Which part of Java? Java is too too broad. Barat Jawa, Barat West Java. Ah, oh, West Java. Okay, so after you finish your study at UT, you will back to will you back to Indonesia and be a teacher? Yes, I will. Yes, oh. I hope. Oh, that's good. Okay, thank you, Mas Riyadno, for your brief introduction. Next, siapa yang mau Mbak Yus Mbak Yusnita atau Mbak Rini Susanti dulu? Okay, me, Miss. Okay, who is speaking now? Uh, Yusnita. Okay. My, my name is Yusnita. Mm-hmm. I from Palembang, South Sumatra. Oh, that's far. Yeah. And where do you live now in Taiwan? Uh, in Shilin. Oh, in Shilin? Oh. Yes. Near the night market. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once I went there, it was so good. And what impressed you the most during your student life? Sorry, Miss. What's the meaning? I forget. Uh, what impressed you the most during your student life? Apa yang paling membuat anak berkesan selama belajar? Uh, I need nice friend and then can make uh, open my idea, my idea, good idea like that. Ah, that's nice. So, and what is your future plan after you graduate from this university? Uh, I think, uh, inshallah, I will teach the children in my village because the uh, still not enough teacher in my village. So maybe open like small uh, small school like that for the oh, six wow. children in the village. You're such inshallah. a good person. Nice. Thank you, Mbak Yusnita. Hey. Bini Susanti. Tolong Mas Triatno dan Mbak Yusnita speakernya di... Oke. Okay. Di mute ya. Ya. Yeah. Uh, Mbak Rini Susanti. It's your turn. Halo, Mbak Rini. Uh, she... Is it busy is now? Is it doing something now? Yes, she is doing something. Oh, okay, so... This is... Thank you for your brief introduction. I wish I could meet you in person. So we can share a lot of ideas. So, this is our first class. The first... In, the, in this first meeting, we are going to discuss three competencies. So I have three competencies that we will learn first. After join with this class, you will be able to differentiate morphology and syntax. And the second one, differentiate between content word and function word. And the last one, you will be able to differentiate between bounds and free morphemes. And finally, you are able to do exercise on identifying morphemes. So before I give a further explanation, is it okay for you if I speak English all the time or should I combine my language? Which one do you prefer? Maybe I think uh, half, half speak English and half speak Indonesian means because we are still not very good the English language. Okay. Thank you. So am I speak do I speak too fast for you? Okay. Do I speak no problem. too fast? No problem. Okay, good. Okay. Jadi kelas ini kita dari kelas pertama ini kita akan mempelajari tentang morfologi dan syntax. First of all, do you know about morphology and syntax before this class?
Do you have any idea what is it about morphology and syntax? Anyone? Uh, I need all of your responses to make you not sleepy because this is night. Sebelumnya ada yang sudah tahu apa itu morfologi dan sintek atau di kelas-kelas sebelumnya sudah pernah disinggung sedikit. Uh, the first class is. Oh, this is your first class. Okay, welcome uh, to the world. Because uh, you are students of your linguistic students, you must be familiar. You should be familiar with these terms. So, as a students, uh, as a linguistic students, as a literature students. This is the part that cannot be separated in your life. Jadi kalau sebagai mahasiswa literatur sastra, definisi morfologi dan sintek, function word, content word, morpheme itu akan menjadi sesuatu yang jadi makanan sehari-hari your daily daily need. Jadi apa itu morpheme? Uh, dalam kelas ini kita akan menjadi familiar dalam untuk to define morphology, morph, lexeme, morpheme, syntax, semantic, phonology, sentences, sentence analysis, constituent analysis, and immediate constituent analysis. Mungkin ini sesuatu yang jauh di luar bayangan mbak-mbak dan mas-mas ya, karena baru pertama kali mendengar. Tapi saya harap setelah Selesai dari semester ini, Anda semua akan menjadi familiar dan bisa memahami satu persatu dari definisi yang saya sebutkan ini. Uh, mari kita buka buku. Apakah semua bisa membawa membuka buku? Ya, yeah, Oke. Okay. Jadi, can you open your book page 1.2 and 1.3? At the first page, there is a definition about morphology, morphs, lexeme, morpheme, syntax, semantic, phonology, sentences. Jadi sebenarnya, ketika kita belajar bahasa, apa manfaatnya kita mempelajari ini untuk da- untuk penggunaan sehari-hari? Kalau untuk daily user, this is not too important for us to learn about this, but as a teacher as a teacher to be it is so important for us to understand about this term memang kalau untuk percakapan sehari-hari kita tidak mau, tidak terlalu membutuhkan definisi-definisi ini tapi sebagai calon guru dan calon pengajar memahami materi-materi ini sangat penting karena dengan memahami materi-materi ini berarti kita memahami akar-akar dari bahasa itu sendiri jadi First, I made a short definition about these terms. The first one is morphology. Morphology is about study of internal structure of a word. Jadi kalau dalam kalimat, ketika kita membuat kalimat, for example, I eat bread every morning. I eat bread every morning. It consists of I as a subject. Eat for verb, bread as a noun, or a direct object. Every morning is time. So, morphology study of internal structure of a word. So, when we learn about morphology, we will define a sentences. Jadi, ketika kita belajar morphology, kita akan memilah-milah dalam satu kalimat itu. Mana subject, mana verb, mana object. Mana keterangan waktu, keterangan tempat, atau keterangan cara. Nah, next term is morph. The segment of phonological unit. Apa itu morph? Morph itu adalah seperti, misalnya contohnya. I eat. There are two morphs di situ. Yang ketiga adalah lexim. What is lexim? Lexeme is a word which phonological unit is a realization of the form. Contohnya dalam bahasa Inggris itu go itu verb satu, verb duanya adalah when, 
from tiga aja adalah God. Jadi leksimnya when itu apa? Bentuk aslinya when itu apa? Itu go. Uh, leksimnya gone itu apa? Oh tetap go. Nah morphem sendiri adalah smallest grammatical unit in the languages. Jadi bagian terkecil dalam language itu disebut morphem. Contohnya ketika kita menyebutkan children. Children, di situ ada dua morphemes, child plus ENN, children. Nah, yang kelima adalah sintek. Sintek ini berkaitan dengan grammar. Kalau secara kaum awam, kalau di kelas-kelas, di pelajaran SD, SMP, SMA, sampai kuliah pun, kita sering menyebutnya grammar. Tapi untuk mahasiswa sastra, grammar itu... kata lain dari sintek. Uh, di sini sudah pernah ikut kelas grammar sebelumnya. Apakah waktu semester semester sebelumnya did you learn about grammar before? Yo, eh, Oke. Okay. Yes, Apa yang menarik dari belajar grammar? Kalimat yang struktural. Mm-hmm. Dan itu juga membantu ketika berbicara secara formal ya. Jadi it is it is very important for us to understand grammar to make our language understandable. When we learn grammar, it will help us to speak in order in a good order. Excuse me, good evening, Miss. Yeah, Maaf evening. terlambat. Oh ya, yeah. who is speaking now? Uh, I'm Rini. Oh, Ibu Rini, Ibu Rini. Oke, okay, Mbak Rini. Saya tadi belum kenalan ya, Mbak ya. Saya akan iya. kenalan dulu. Tadi pertanyaannya nih, saya tunjukkan lagi. Oke. Okay. Uh, first, your name. Where are you from? I mean, where are you from in Indonesia? And which part of Taiwan you are living now? Uh, uh-huh. Oke, okay. I'm Ibu Rini. Uh, you can Don't call me Mbak Rini. Why? Not sweet to me. I'm oh, too old. To <laughs> yes, I'm oh, older I here. Older, younger than. No, I'm I'm oldest here. <laughs> And I'm from Kediri, oh. East Java. In Taiwan, I live in Sanjung. Sanjung is. Uh, New Taipei, New Taipei City. Ah, oh, that's not far. Yes, not far. For the Burini, what impressed you the most during your student life? Student life? <laughs> what impressed you the most? Uh, to be honest, mm-hmm. I just... Uh, I don't I don't want wasting my time in in Taiwan because actually I have a um a lot time a lot free time actually a lot free time mm. Mm, and my employer uh give me facility apa fasilitas apa yuk yeah, fasilitas yeah. provide you facility too yes about wifi so i can i can use 24/7 wow, <laughs> so nice. so so i don't want was wasting my time so i i just i i push my <laughs> myself to study Wow, that's good. That's like it. So inspiring. And what is your future plan after you graduate from your from this school? Are you going to be a teacher? Actually, I don't have planning when I applied in UT. Mm-hmm. Really, I don't have plan something about next. 
when I graduate, I don't have, I don't think too much. Just I oh, I need to make my mind busy, just like this. Oh, it's good to killing your time in Taiwan. It's good. So. There are one more students come. Hmm. Who's this? Okay. Uh, can you read it from beginning? Yeah. Jadi. Thank you. Terima kasih, Ibu Rining. So let's continue my discussion. So in this chapter, we will learn about this definition. Jadi tadi kita sudah sampai ke nomor lima ya, bahas syntax. Syntax itu adalah grammar dalam bahasa Inggris. Nah, what is the difference between syntax and semantic? Semantic is the branch of linguistic and logic concerned with meaning. Nah, kalau dalam morphology dan syntax, kita akan belajar tentang rumusan-rumusan kata. Nah, phonology itu tentang apa? Phonology itu tentang speech sound. Mm. And the next one is sentence number eight is the largest unit which synthetic rules apply. Excuse me, uh, yeah? slide is is phrase? No, it's not phrase. No, because I just I I just see maybe first first. Slide. No, right now I'm showing you slide six. Six. Yeah. This English morpho syntax. No. How about the others? Can you no, see my slide? I, I don't see. I don't see. I don't see. That's why I ask you. This. <laughs> Kalau yang lain gimana? Bisa melihat slide saya? Ini cuma judulnya aja, Miss. Aku lihatnya ini. Oh ya? Terus class introduction intro morphology. Oh, saya sudah klik ke unit unit one. Bagaimana dengan hmm. yang lain? Masih slide yang pertama, Miss. Yang mana? Yang judul juga deh. Iya, yang judul juga. Hmm. Nah. Ah, oke. Okay. Sudah. Oke. Okay. Kalau semua sudah ada buku, let's open your book on page 1.5 until 1.6. Sudah dibuka bukunya? Ya. Jadi kalau dalam 1.5 sampai 1.6 ini kan ada soal. Sebelum kita masuk ke soal, mari baca dulu 1.2 halaman 1 1.2 1.3 tentang definition. Ada yang bisa membacakan definisi dari morphology untuk saya? Anyone willing to read this? The definition of morphology. Can I try? Can I try this? Okay, sure. Hello? Yeah? Time is yours. Hmm. Siapa yang baca? I think someone said that. Can I try? Oh! <laughs> okay, that's me. Okay, I want to try. Unit 1, Morphosyntax, mm -hmm. Definition, Language is a tool used by people for communication and a formal symbolic system. The art of conceptualizing and describing a language involves analy analyzing its formal systematic properties and interpreting the language 
as a communicative character. Most of linguists today find the term grammar is equated with not only morphology but also syntax. Mm -hmm. The domain of morphology is words. Mm -hmm. How words are formed is the concern of this field. So morphological structure is the structure which consists consists of the elements to form words. While syntax describes the ways that words fit together to form sentences is utterances. Unit 1 begins with several definitions used in this book dealing with morphosyntax. Surely, they are not only some of morphologies, but also syntax. In short, morphologistic is the study of grammatical categories or lingu linguistic units that have both morphological and syntax synthetic properties. It is also mean the set of rules that governs linguistic units whose properties are definable by both morphological and synthetic criteria. The other definition are below. Okay, terima kasih. Thank you for reading this for us. That's a very perfect. Jadi, ini kita akan belajar tentang ap, kenapa kita belajar morphosyntax. Karena ketika when we learn language, we need to understand deeper about the structure, about the rule of the languages. So when we speak language, we will we can speak properly. We can speak a good English because we understand the language. Because you are students of English literature, so it should be the language that you use is a good English. Jadi karena anda semua adalah mahasiswa sastra, jadi diharapkan bahasa ya, bahasa Inggris yang dihasilkan itu adalah bahasa Inggris yang baik, yang mudah dipengerti dengan aturan-aturan. Jadi pertama, the first term we will learn about morphology. As a branch of linguistic, morphology is the study of internal structure of word or the way in which words are constructed out of smaller of meaningful units. Word forms can often be analyzed into segments. For instance, the English word unacceptable can be analyzed as unacceptable. Jadi contohnya dalam kalimat misalnya, can you see the first paragraph morphology di sini dijelaskan bahwa the word unacceptable itu kalau dianalisis bisa terdiri dari tiga morfim un accept able bisa dipahami maksud saya sudah sudah jadi dalam paragraf pertama morphology kalimat terakhir it is written that Unacceptable are consisted of un, accept, and able. Jadi kalau kalimat unacceptable itu dipecah-pecah, itu bisa menjadi tiga bagian. Un, accept, dan able. Oh, I got it. Oke. Okay. Nah, jadi itu tujuan dari kita belajar morphology jadi ketika when we learn morphology kita bisa mempelajari all language rule the language rule of English is this one pelajari kata ya misi ya yeah, that's true we will learn about words that's why it will be like I hope that this class is not boring karena pelajarannya I know that it's quite difficult for us Maybe this is new thing for you. I wish you are completely on the train with this part. <laughs> this, we have a night class. So 
I think that you are still in wake. Oh, yes. <laughs> Masih semangat terus ya, meskipun malam. Ngantuk-ngantuk biasa, Miss. Kalau kalau sambil ngantuk-ngantuk itu sudah biasa. Lah. <laughs> Malu. Okay.